What is up, YouTube fragrance family and friends? I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and welcome to another video review today. Today is kind of an impromptu video review because I literally just got this fragrance in the mail not 10 minutes ago. I was out for a walk with my dog during my lunch break from work, and I thought, you know what? No better time than the present. I'm gonna jump in front of the camera and go ahead and get this going, even as I was editing a fragrance haul video that I was supposed to release today, which will likely be released tomorrow. So when we come back, we're gonna go over this brand new release, hot off the presses. We're gonna check it out, see if it's fantastic or see if it's just another mediocre 2021 release. I'm excited to see if we can tell the difference, that and more, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. So today is again an impromptu video release. I just got this in the mail and I wanted to, for the first time, check out the presentation with you guys, check out the smell, give you my first impressions on this. It is of course a new release by Victor and Rolf. Spice Bomb Infrared. Let's check out that presentation. So guys, you probably know more about this at this point than I do because I was really excited about getting it in, so I didn't look at any supplemental information. I don't know what kind of fragrant notes are in this. I don't know what people think about it. I don't know what season it's geared for, but I'm excited to kind of find that out with you as we go along. So it's the typical Spice Bomb presentation. It is the 90 ml bottle. The official name is Spice Bomb Infrared Eau de Toilette Pour Homme. For him. Now I'm a big fan of the OG Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme in particular. Without any further ado, now what I'm going to do, since I don't know what notes are in this before doing this video, which I always prepare myself ahead of time, so my apologies for that. I was just excited to get this in and show it to you guys. I'm going to show you a graphic that's going to list the notes right here. Spice Bomb Infrared by Victor and Rolf features top notes of heart notes of Resting on a base of So there you go, those are the notes that are in this fragrance. Now, typically Victor and Rolf are very simplistic when it comes to, because really simplicity equal elegance in my book when it comes to fragrance formula for men especially. So without further ado, let's pull the pin on this and check out the juice. I don't know about you guys, but I love red fragrances, that, that genre of red, and I'll put a link above here where I did a video of some of my favorite red fragrances, like Ultra Red by Paco Rabanne, some, some others. Hopefully Infrared will make that list in the future see already primed and ready to go fantastic quality atomizer okay okay honestly I didn't have any expectations in my head but really the way that it's coming across immediately what I thought of when I smelled this is I thought of spice bomb extreme with red being the prominent and dominant note uh, or, or thought process in the concept of the fragrance. So this literally is Spice Bomb Extreme with some red in it. When I say red, more like chili peppers, cinnamon. This is, I love the fact that they didn't stray super far from the Spice Bomb formula. I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna be a big fan of it. Unless it massively changes on my skin, which I already have fragrance on. So let me find a parcel of skin that doesn't smell super much like, yes, I am the King Lion, which is what I'm wearing now, which is a fantastic, inexpensive, gourmand fragrance 
Okay, sprayed it on once. This is what Youp Red King was trying to be and didn't succeed at all, not even close. I can already foresee in the future there's gonna be two schools of thought for this fragrance, those who absolutely hate it, and they're like, it's boring, it's just Spice Bomb Extreme with just a little bit of variation. Well, <laughs> isn't that what flankers are? So I already can tell there's gonna be people that are gonna be negative about it. I liked it from the moment that I smelled it on the tester strip, mm. and it's even, it's even drying down into something a little bit more like fluffy smooth. Oh man, it's super accessible though. Super woody, spicy, smooth, creamy, and accessible. That's what this is drying down on the tester strip. Now on my skin, so just the same but more. That means even better because you've got that warmth of your body heat and that chemical composition of your own skin formulating what this is going to smell like in terms of your, your body's chemistry. And that's what dictates what, the, what a fragrance is going to smell like to begin with. I really, really like where this is going. I really like where it's heading. It smells to me like, I feel like there might be some citrus in the open, but that dries away relatively quickly. Mostly what we have in here infused are some spices, but warm, smooth, and creamy. At its very dry down, it's interesting to me though, because it smells like a soapy fragrance. Honestly, it's got kind of a clean, soapy vibe to it. Like a lot of the spices have dried away in, in the dry down and yeah, it's just got kind of a warm, woody, clean, soapy smell about it and, and vibe to it, specifically in the dry down, in the very dry down. I really like that about Spice Bomb Infrared. Spice Bomb Infrared is a brand new release. I don't see the price dropping anytime soon. You can get a 90 mil bottle for around 100 bucks or just over $100. Uh, I believe I got this from Nordstrom. Yes, Nordstrom. Nordstrom, I believe, is the first retailer that carried it, at least in the USA for mail, so if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can check out Spice Bomb Infrared. Now this one, I feel like even more than just the regular Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme and any of the other flankers, I feel like this one is more geared towards being dressed up. It's a little bit more refined. It's a little bit more, I, I don't wanna use the word safe. <laughs> it definitely is a safe bet. Uh, so you don't have to worry about blind buying this and getting something really crazy or extreme or super challenging. It's definitely a safe fragrance in the confines of the Spice Bomb world or universe. It's very fresh, it's very warm, it's very spicy, so definitely cold weather. It's got that on lockdown. But what about warmer weather? I feel like you could wear this in warmer weather. It's a, it's a red kind of genre fragrance, which are typically known for being, you can wear it year round in any time of, of year, any season any circumstance this is geared a little bit more towards refinement so you can definitely wear this dressed up you can definitely wear it casually any spicy man's fougere is going to dominate the casual genre for sure in terms of, of wear and dress i can't think of that you wouldn't want to wear this maybe around people who don't like spices because it's definitely going to be spicy but even then give it about 20 30 minutes and that dies away and you're left with a really creamy smooth soapy sudsy clean modern man's fragrance. I'm really happy to add this on the shelf besides Spice Bomb Extreme uh, in particular because that's my next favorite Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb Extreme, probably infrared. I'll have to give it some wear to see what that performance is like. It's just okay when it comes to projection. It doesn't seem to be like a beast of projection or blowing me away to any degree, but I, I feel like it's gonna be right around average there. The Spice Bomb Extreme definitely holds, I don't know, the record, we'll say, in the world, in the universe of Spice Bomb as being the most extreme in terms of projection, sillage trail, uh, longevity. So this one would definitely be probably under, uh, under Spice Bomb Extreme. So if you're looking for a beast, probably not gonna be this, but it's probably going to be at least, at minimum, average in terms of its performance. But I'll let you know that in the future when I do a full on review of it. Well guys, thanks for checking out my unboxing and first impressions of Spice Bomb Infrared. I was really wanting to jump in front of the camera and get this going for you guys because I was excited to get that package. So I really have to go and get back to work. I'm sure my lunch hour is up. And so they're probably looking for me. But thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.